My name is Brandon Franklin. I'm a board certified behavior analyst in a school district and my day typically consists of going to school, visiting with students, training teachers, and working with admin in the building to really solidify uh, the plan that I have set up for the student to succeed within a school building so they can continue to carry out the plan after I am done and have faded. How about you, Matt? What should you be like? Uh, it's kind of the same, except I don't work for a school district. I consult to several different school districts in New Hampshire and Vermont. So yeah. I've been consulting in private practice for about 11 or 12 years or so. And you also work with special education students, and I work with um, general education students, so I think that's also a difference. Yeah, most of the students I provide services to have uh, either a special education, they they're receive special education services or they receive Section 504 services. They're not necessarily in the special ed category, but have some sort of accommodations related to a, a medical diagnosis that, at least from my perspective, or at least where I come into the team impacts their behavior. Right, and a majority of what I do is I am sent out to work with students to try to keep them from being placed in special education services in cases where they really might not need those services, uh, but their behavior is driving them towards those services. So what I've really learned in working in a school district which has um, employees from instructional assistants in a classroom all the way up to you know, a superintendent or assistant superintendent is that not everybody knows what we know. We have a very specialized degree um, and things that may seem like common sense to us, other people don't know. So what we need to do is we really need to be patient with the people we work with. Um, we need to be um, very personable, we need to be approachable, and we need to make sure that when we walk, and this is you know exactly what I do, any school, any classroom that I go into, I'm making sure that I am being a representative of our field and our science. So when I leave there, somebody's gonna say, you know, this behavior analysis stuff is pretty cool. Right. The people are great, I learned a lot, and we got great results from this. Yeah, the contrast to that is what I call the so-called ugly behaviorists, and that's when a behaviorist goes into a school setting gets all sorts of upset that people aren't doing things in the way in which they don't want them to that they want them to do demeans the staff mm -hmm. gets frustrated again gets frustrated in the process and nothing changes and what's left is that the school is like well the hell with this behavior and stuff we had a BCBA once and uh, you know they just want us to collect a bunch of data you know so I'm, I think the field has come a long way since that time, and I'm not saying that every behavior analyst personifies this uh, image that I'm saying, but it is, there is some historical baggage that I think we as a field need to overcome, or at least that's been my experience. Um, so it's good that it's a good it's a good thing to encourage people to go in and connect with teachers, empathize with what for sure this, with, with the challenges that they're faced with. Mm -hmm and then slowly try to build that relationship so you can put some solutions in place to kind of set that hook so they realize, hey, I like this stuff, I want more of it. Right, right. And a lot of times when I walk into a classroom or a school building, um, I realize that it's really the last opportunity or last chance for this kid right. before they are tagged as special education or placed into an IEP for the rest of their academic career. Right. And the statistics for those kids aren't great. Yeah. Um, so what I have to do is make sure that what I'm doing is you know, working with the teacher in a way that also makes the student successful by being positive, upbeat, cheering the teacher on because what the teacher's feeling is going to rub off on the student in the way that they perform yeah, totally. as well. So um, I think that's also a very important aspect is you are cheering, because you're shaping the teacher's behavior as well. And when you can effectively change the environment and the teacher's behavior and the admin's behavior, the student's behavior is gonna change every time. Yeah, yeah you know, I think that's something you're particularly good with because you naturally connect with people very easily. And I think it's something from my perspective, I, I struggle with. So like when, I, when I'm in those situations, I'm actually like telling myself in the back of my head, smile, yeah. Ask them about like oh, yeah. stuff outside of school. 
so you can connect with the you know, yeah. things like that because that that is not a natural. I'm more I guess introverted as it were. Yeah. And, and, but those those soft skills are so important. Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, and it's not so necessarily can... inauthentic, but no. when I go into a school building and I work with a teacher, I almost go into like a character or a part. You know what I mean? To where it's like I would never in a normal conversation get so excited and so over the top of praise with somebody because they right. did something right to ask them. But I do with that teacher and I do it in a way that is authentic. So then awesome. I, I you know, I don't really get this praise from too many other professionals that I work with. Right. But this guy's coming in and he's solving my problems that I'm having with the student and he makes me feel good about what I'm doing. So let me ask you this. One yeah. of the things I see a lot of is sometimes like it's just the ability to sit there and have the time to be able to listen. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 I'd be shocked if this didn't happen to you, but I'm sure when you meet with teachers, the that's their first opportunity to oh, kind yeah. of vent about the situation that they're finding frustrating, yeah. right? I and call it talking them off the ledge. Yeah, exactly. That's what I call it. Um, so, you know, I'll generally meet with the teacher without the admin around and I'll explain to them exactly what it is that I'm doing and what I'm here for and what we can expect out of this behavioral journey together. Um, and do you use the air quotes? You no, know, I, I actually, that's probably one of the first times I've ever used behavioral journey in my life, <laughs> but we're going uh, on a behavioral journey. You, me, the student on a behavioral journey. It's not the lie. <laughs> so I tell them number one, I'm not a teacher. I don't know. You can be the greatest teacher in the world. You can be the worst teacher in the world. And I don't know. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm not an evaluator. I'm a behavior analyst. I'm here to strictly worry about behavior. You get a huge sigh of relief from the teacher. Whew, okay, so you're not gonna judge me on my instructional skills because I don't know. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they like to hear that. Um, but I also say these four walls and your nameplate on the front says that this is your classroom. Everything that I'm going to ask you to do, you will need to say, okay, we can do that. I feel comfortable doing this or this is working for me and I want to continue to do it. I tell them, be honest with me, be open with me, and if there's anything I ever ask you to do that you cannot do, do not feel comfortable with, or you do not feel it is working, I want you to tell me and we'll find another way to get the job done. And it's you're building that relationship with that teacher so that that teacher can build the same relationship with that student in the way that you know, you're bridging your treatment and your plan and everything with them. So, so for a while, you all have been asking about people that are in the school system as behavior analysts. And well, we got it. Make sure that you give these two some props down in the comments below. If you have any questions, they'll be following along. And thank you so much for your time. That's your daily BA. <laughs> wow, that's how bad it was. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna make him feel good. Uh